Well, hey, you crazy sock knitters. It's Jamie here, and I have been watching Facebook and watching that everybody is looking for the heel tab no-show sock pattern. Well, in the comments below, I'm going to put my email address and I'm going to put Sue Vineski's email address, and you can email either one of us to receive that pattern. I wanted to show you how to do the heel tab. Now, you've heard us talking about a deep heel where you use more than half the needles. Well, on a heel tab, you're going to use less than half the needles. So let's take a look at how that's going to work. Okay, so here you go. I have cast on with waist yarn. I've knit 10 rows of my project yarn. And now I'm going to raise the back half of my needles. Now this is a 72 cylinder. So I'm going to show you what we mean, or what Sue means when she says to do a shorter heel. Let's see, two, four, six. This is a 72, and that's what the, the pattern calls for. So I'm going to put six extra needles up. So I'm going to make my heel tab right here, and I'm going to decrease as I would if I were making a normal heel. One needle at a time. Let's see, that would be the third one. Got to make sure those latches are open. And three on this side. Four. And let's do number four on this side. And number five. Now we've made these on Sock TV before. So if you're a subscriber to Sock TV, you can see all this up close and personal. Now, let me find a little heel fork here. And I'm going to put that heel fork right there in the middle. And now I'm going to lower this needle. To the second to last one I raised. Lower this needle. Lower this needle. Making sure that that latch is open and that the yarn wraps around that latch. Now, remember we decreased five, but in order to not have a little heel, we're gonna increase four. And that's five needles per side and four needles per side. So that's the last time I'm going to go this way. I'm going to lower that needle. I still have this, these two needles that I increased, or I'm sorry, that I decreased. But now I'm finished with that heel tab. So that's what it means by the heel tab no-show. That's how you're going to do. Now, I did 10 rows before I, I started um, the heel tab. Now I'm going to do 10 rows. Whoops, did you see that? I dropped a little stitch. Better pick that bad boy up. People are always asking me and they're amazed at how easily I can pick up drop stitches. Well, you know how that happened? With a lot of practice. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh boy, my yarn got caught up around something. Oh yeah, it's a real mess. Stand by. Let's just get that off of that piece of Velcro. <laughs> nine and ten so now's the time that i would hang my hem so there you go that's the heel tab made easy now for the pattern you can email sue.vineski at gmail.com or you can email me jamie jme mayfield m-a-y-f-i-e-l-d at gmail.com hey thanks for joining me on this little short lesson I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. Thanks.